which one of these hearts are you drawn to the most? And whichever one you're drawn to, this reading is for you. If you're drawn to the blue card, this is your reading. If you're drawn to the red one, the reading is already posted, so go to my page. Okay, so let's take a look at the first message. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Wow, okay, so there may be something going on here in a relationship that is connected to power dynamics. Someone needing to feel in control. Hmm. But then I'm also hearing walking away with your head held high. Let's get some more information. Okay, ooh, Ace of Wands, new vitality. <laughs> so straight out of the gate, this is something very passionate that I'm seeing here. Now this is like an offer. Okay, this could be a new date. Somebody's offering to go on a date with you. There's some kind of new initiation or attraction this could also be. This could be somebody that you've known for a while, somebody you work with, for example, and then this sudden attraction takes over you. Okay, it's like it comes out of nowhere. I'm definitely seeing either this like brand new date or this opportunity or this attraction that, yeah, it's brand new. So yeah, this isn't something old or something's been going on for a while. It feels like it's or maybe it's reignited. We are in Mercury retrograde right now, which can bring about past connections, people to us, but it's not all about people coming to us. Sometimes we will feel drawn back to people from our past. You know, Mercury retrograde affects us all. Now the dedicated effort, this is about not putting in the work, which is interesting because we've got the action coming through, the initiation, the plan, the attraction, but then no real effort or nothing really progressing or moving forwards. So maybe that's where this power is coming through. Maybe not feeling like there is much power in this connection, especially with not a lot of action happening. But then we've got seek, Virgo energy, which you could resonate with. Hmm, so it feels like maybe there, there was this spark, this attraction, but then it's like, I don't know if it's died or it's come to an end, or maybe it's just on pause right now. Because it feels like this is you being more introverted, maybe spending a little bit more time at home. Now for some of you, it could even be something connected to your health, okay, that is keeping you indoors. Okay, but I just see this need to retreat, maybe to think about everything that's happened, this spark, okay, the power shift between you and this person, because maybe there, there has been this shift. But let's just see. We've got rebuild, rebuild and reverse. Yeah, it really feels like it's somebody that you've been connected with, but I see something new being ignited, but I get the sense that you want to rebuild something, but you're also not willing to put in the time and effort because maybe this other person has not been reciprocating or giving you what you need to feel like it's an equal balanced connection. Because again, that's how power can end up becoming off or out of alignment because one person may be investing a lot more. One person may care a lot more about the other. Let's just see. What else are you being guided to know here about this? Eight of Cups. Hmm, I feel like your person, this person we're talking about here, is not over you, okay? They still got emotional feelings. They haven't let go. So if that's something you've been wondering, they haven't been able to move forwards, okay? But it feels like on your side that you, you may have blocked this person, okay? Especially maybe things like heated up and then it came to a standstill. You may have blocked them. You may have just been ignoring them, or this may be you feeling conflicted, whether you should give them another chance, whether you should invest any more of your time or energy into them. But yeah, your person, wow, the love is reversed. They're definitely feeling the loss of the split with the two of you. Even if this wasn't like a full-blown relationship, even if it was just like a situationship or something, they're definitely feeling the separation here. And I do get the sense they are longing for you. Hmm. But then we've got Seven of Wands. Yeah, I just kind of get this energy from you. Like, you may be happy to know that they still care, but at the same time, you're like, ugh, like, you're really annoying. Like, why do you want me now? Like, you had the opportunity, and now 
now you're missing me, now you're longing for me. And I feel like it kind of fires you up a little bit, like it may make you feel a bit angry. Um, but also it's kind of a positive sense of victory for you. So maybe when this person returns to you or makes some kind of move, it validates you, especially if you've been confused about this for a while. So yeah, it may validate you, but I still feel on another level it frustrates you. Ooh, <clears throat> wow, okay, Ten of Swords, your person is, they're not in a good place at all, mentally, I mean, they're as bad as they can be, okay, they may have betrayed you, okay, which may be what caused you to cut them off, if that's the case, that I'm feeling horrendous guilt about that now, now, this may be a guilt for themselves, they may be feeling badly because they've lost you, rather than actually hurting you, Depends how emotionally sensitive and empathic this person is, which I feel like you know. You know how empathic this person is. But let's see, what else is coming through? Two of Cups. Okay, so it's like there is reciprocal energy here. You both feel the loss of the split. You definitely do. You're both mirroring each other in that sense. Okay, so how you're feeling about them, they do feel about you. Although I do feel that they feel worse. Okay, like either they may have been the one betrayed by you and they feel really awful, or but to me it feels more like they've done that to you and now they're kicking themselves. They're kicking themselves because they're seeing that they've lost something so amazing, something that they can't just easily attain, which is you. Nothing is set in stone. Mutable moons. We've got the mutable signs of Gemini, Pisces and Virgo and Sagittarius, which you and your person may resonate with. But yeah, I feel like you're being guided to go with the flow, okay? Don't think about this situation too much. Don't over-strategize things. I feel like you're being guided to just see how it unfolds naturally. But also not to lose full hope. Have faith in your dreams. Because there's growth here with the waxing crescents. It's gathering light. So I feel like there's new information that's going to come in about this connection, which I feel like will bring you more understanding. Hence why I feel like it may be the best thing to go with the flow. Again, don't overthink this too much. Allow things to unfold, as I said. Okay, and that's the best way, because if you have faith, if you believe, for instance, you're meant to be together, or you believe that everything is meant to unfold in the perfect way, then you can relax. Okay, it's only when you struggle to have faith in what is meant to be that you start to feel anxious. And then a fiery climax approaches. Aries energy, full moon as well. So we've got the waxing building up to the full moon. So there's definitely new information, as I said, coming to light about this connection. I really feel like this person is going to come back in or they're going to at least attempt it. Okay, even if you happen to just run into each other, I feel like this is coming to a head here. I don't feel like this is over. This feels like unfinished business to me. But of course, you have free will. So you can keep that door closed to this person. Okay, or you can decide not to re-engage with this person. You know, you can move forwards. The power is still in your hands. The power is always in your hands. Regardless of what your person thinks or does, it's what you do, it's how you control yourself that is within your power, okay? So you can do whatever you want, but I do feel like there is more to come. If you want that, it's coming. If you don't, at least you have the forewarning, maybe to double bolt that door, okay, if you don't want them coming in. I hope it makes sense. 